Hello friends, this video on linear inequalities part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com, no more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched part 1 to part 3. Here we have a scenario where we have two graphical equations and we have to solve it. So we, here we have two equations x plus y is greater than or equal to 5 and x minus y is less than or equal to 5. So let's take first equation x plus y is greater than or equal to 5. So to convert, to draw, we have to first draw a line for x plus y is equal to 5. To do this, we will take x and y value. So x is equal to 0, y is equal to 5. Correct? Because when you say 0 plus y is equal to 5, so y is equal to 5. When you say y is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, x plus 0 is equal to 5, so x becomes We'll take one more point x is equal to 1, 1 plus y is equal to 5, so y is equal to 4. We'll take one more point, we'll take y is equal to 1 this time, so x plus 1 is equal to 5, so x is equal to 4. So this is 4 and this is 1. So we have got this point. So we'll plot this point 0, 5, x is 0, y is 5, 5, 0, x is 5, 5 is 0, x is 1, y is 4. And x is 4, y is 1. So these are the four points we have got. So let me draw a line for this. So this is the graph we have got plot x plus y is equal to 5. This is the graph. Now let's do a check. This is also divided into two regions, 1 and 2. Let's see which is satisfying. We'll take 0, 1, 0 here. It's easy to solve. So 0 plus 0 is greater than or equal to 5. So 0 is greater than or equal to 5? No. So that means this region is not satisfying the condition. So this region is satisfying the condition. So will this region satisfies the condition. Correct? So I'll not uh, write that, I'll not create lines because it will make the graph ugly because we have to create one more line. So we know that reason 2 is satisfying, reason 1 is not satisfying, this is done. Now let's create the graph for another line, x minus y is less than 3. To create graph we have to create the line for, create a graph for the line x minus y is equal to 3. Here also we will take xy, we will take y 0, so we will say x minus 0 is equal to 3. What you get to x, x is equal to 3. Similarly, we will take x 0, 0 minus y is equal to 3. So what you get? y is equal to minus 3. Minus 3 is 0. We will take y is equal to 1, x minus 1 is equal to 3. So x is equal to 4. So y is equal to 1, x is equal to 4. I think with these three points we can plot the graph. 3, 0 is 1 point. 0 minus 3 is 1 point and 4 and 1 is 1 point. So we will form this graph, this graph will come something like this. This will be the graph. Now again we have to find a point. So this let's suppose we are dividing into two parts, two reason. This region is called 3 and this region is 4. Because we have told that a line divides a graph into two equal parts. So we will see in reason 3, 0, 0 is there. So we will see if reason 0, 0 is the condition. So we will say 0 minus 0 is less than or equal to 3. 0 is less than or equal to 3, it's correct. So that means 3 is the correct. And 4 is not the solution. So now we will have to find a common solution. So we have told 2 is the solution here. So 2, reason 2 for this line will be this reason. Similarly, reason 3 for this line will be this reason. Correct? The whole reason. The common is this reason. This is the common reason. So this is the solution. This is the solution for these two graphs. So what we have done? So we have found equation for these two graphs, these two lines. We have plotted them in the graph and we found the reason. So for this, the reason was 2 and for this second equation, reason was 3. And then we have found a common area. The area which is common to region 2 and region so we found this was the common area. So the common area is the solution. If you have more than three two graphs, 
again for the third equation also you have to find the reasons and then you have to find the common area between four, one two and three lines and whatever is the common area is the final solution so let's take the example for three equations we'll solve it and we'll find the common area this is the equation equation one equation two and equation three first we'll draw for this three five x plus four y is less than 40 so we'll create the line like this 5x plus 4y is equal to 40 now we'll say x and y different values of x and y the moment we say y is equal to we'll say x is equal to 0 or we'll, let's say we'll say y is equal to 0 we'll say y is equal to 0 the moment we we'll say y is equal to 0 it becomes 0 and 5x is equal to 40 x is equal to 40y 5 is equal to a then we'll say x is equal to 0 we say x is equal to 0 this becomes 0 0 plus 4y is equal to 40 this rule becomes 10 if you want we can solve this 5 we are saying y is equal to 0 5x plus 4 into 0 is equal to 40 or 5x is equal to or x is equal to 40y is equal to 8 when we say x is equal to 0 5 into 0 plus 4y is equal to 40 so we get y is equal to 40 by 4 because this is 0 40 by 4 is 10 so we plotted this point let's plot this point x is 8 y is 0 is this x is 0 y is 10 is this so these are two points with these two points we can plot the graph and the graph will come something like this This is the graph. It's not straight, it should be straight. But I don't have an option. Please try to understand. This is straight. This is a straight line. Now for this graph also, we have to find this it is divided in region 2, region 1, and region 2. This whole thing is region 1, this whole thing is region 2. We'll plot put 0, 0 here and we'll see if it isn't there in region 1. So 0, 5 into 0 plus this equation we are putting 0, 0 here plus 4 into 0 is less than 40 so what do you get 0 is less than equal to 40 it is true that means reason 1 is true for us reason 1 is true for us this is true now let's draw x is greater than equal to 2 draw this we have to draw a line for x is equal to 2 so x is equal to 2 is nothing but you put any value of y x becomes you put 1, y is equal to 1, to whatever you put, x becomes 2. So this equation is something like this. The line will be something like this. A line parallel to y axis. This is x is equal to 2 and this is 5x plus 4y is equal to 4. Now, when you say x is equal to 2, let's again take 0, 0. This is also in two reasons. We we'll say this region as 3 and this region as 4. So in region 3, we have this point 0, 0. So we'll put 0. 0 is greater than 2. No, it is not satisfying. So that means region 4 will satisfy. So for this equation, region 4 will satisfy. This is the reason. For equation y is greater than or equal to 3. So we have to create a graph for y is equal to 3. So y is equal to 3 is a line parallel to x axis. For any value of x, you get y is equal to 3. You put x equal to 0, you get y 3. You get x equal to 1, you get y 3. For any value, you get y 3. This is the graph for y is equal to 3. It's not coming straight. So again, this also divides in, let's suppose, region 5 and region 6. So we take a point in region 5, 0, 0 and c is satisfied. So it says 0 is y is 0 is greater than 3 it doesn't satisfy so 6 is the reason that satisfied so for this the reason 6 satisfies the condition so once we have a reason now we have to find the common reason before find the common reason let me read it what I have done I have created lines for all these equation three equations and then for each of this equation each of this line divides the whole the plane into two equal half so in case of 
the first equation 5x plus 4y is equal to 4 is less than 40. So I have formed this line and I found that this divides the plane to 1 and 2. And one in reason 1, there is a point called 0, 0. When I substitute the value 0, 0, I found that this is satisfying. So that means reason 1 is a solution for line 1. Similarly, reason 4 is a solution for line 2. And for line 3, reason 6. So let me draw reason 1. For line 1, reason 1 is this side. So these are the values that satisfies. Correct? This is value that satisfies for first equation. For second equation, that is x is equal to 2, reason 2. Reason 2 is this side for this line. So this side for this line is this. The whole reason satisfies this condition. Now when talking about line 3, this is line 3. For line 3, we are saying that this reason 6 satisfies. So reason 6 is all this reason. From that line, you draw all this. Line. So what we see here is, this is the only reason which, which where we have all the values satisfying. This is, is part of reason 1, this is part of reason 4, and this is part of reason 6. So this is the only reason which is intersecting, which is a common reason. So I'll fill this guy in the so this is the solution because this is the only reason which is part of reason 1. You see from this line, when you draw reason 1, this comes. When you draw reason 4 for x equal to 2, for x equal to 2, reason 4, it comes here. And when you draw reason 6 for y is equal to 3, for y is equal to 3, reason 6 is here. So this comes here. This is the only common point. This is the only common area. So this common, this is the only common area. So this common area is the solution. I hope you got what I have done. I have created lines, graphs for the lines, found the reasons which satisfies and then found a common reason. Yes, thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.